Now, please, if you're outside, come inside. Let's be on our feet this morning. Open your mouth and begin to bless the name of God for the gift of life, for health, for provision, for protection. Thank Him for your families. Thank Him for your loved ones. Open your mouth and exalt Him this morning. It's a privilege to see this day. It's a privilege to be alive. It's a good day. It's a wonderful day. It's a fruitful day. Open your mouth and exalt Him. Because we are not counted among the dead. We are counted among the living. Open your mouth and praise this God. Is Jehovah Nisi? Is Jehovah Shama? Is Jehovah Elohim? Is Jehovah Sidkenu? Is the Lion of the tribe of Judah? Thank Him for the unseen battles that are fought on your behalf. Thank Him for the miracles, for the breakthroughs, for the testimonies. Open your mouth and exalt Him. Exalt him, exalt him, exalt him this morning for the eyes to see, for the legs to walk, for the brain to think and imagine, for your nostrils, for the breath of life. Open your mouth and give him all the glory. The psalmist says, Count your blessings and name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. God has been faithful, He has been faithful, He has been faithful. Open your mouth and give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory for your loved ones, your husbands, your wife, your jobs. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Open your mouth and exalt him this morning. Someone express your gratitude to him. Express your gratitude to him. Do we have grateful people in the house this morning? It's a day with the Lord. It's not a day with man. We have not come to meet with man. We have come to meet with the King of Kings. We have come to meet with the Lord of Lord. We have come to meet with El Shaddai, Elion, the mighty man in battle, the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega. Open your mouth and thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the glory. Give him all the glory. Exalt him, exalt him, exalt him. The Bible says God created you and I to show forth his praise. I want you to give God glory this morning. Give God glory this morning because you woke up this morning. You came here by yourself this morning. Exalt him, exalt him, exalt him. You alone is worthy. You alone is worthy. You alone is worthy. You alone is worthy. A thousand tongues is not enough to give him the glory. Your body parts are still functioning properly. Open your mouth and exalt him. Give him all the glory for the deliverance, for the testimonies, for the breakthroughs, for the answers to your prayers that you've been praying. Open your mouth and exalt him. He has been faithful. He has been faithful. He has been faithful. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we give him thanks. Come on, wave your hands to the King of Kings and say, Lord, I thank you for your mercies. Your mercies that have been renewed every morning. Open your mouth and begin to bless him and say, Father, this morning as I've come into your presence, let your mercy prevail over my life as I pray, as I praise, as I worship you. Let your mercy prevail. Open your mouth and talk to him. The Bible says it was by his mercies that you and I were not consumed. Death could not consume us because of his mercies. Sorrows could not consume us because of his mercies. Pain could not consume us because of his mercies. Open your mouth and lay hold on the mercies of God. The mercies of God, they are renewed every morning. They are renewed every morning. And great is thy faithfulness. Begin to talk to him this morning as we go through this service. Father, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. Wash me by your precious blood, wash me by your precious blood. Open your mouth and lay hold on his mercies. If you're joining us on our various platforms, I want you to join us in prayer this morning because this is a day with the Lord in your workplace, on the road, wherever you are, in your homes, something good is about to happen to you. Join in our prayers. Join in our prayers this morning because God is going to meet with you. Open your mouth. Let his mercy prevail. Let his mercy prevail. I've not come yet to waste my time. I've not come yet to meet with man. Let your mercy prevail. 
Come and open your mouth and talk to him. The Bible says the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto God. Begin to lay hold on his mercy. To wash us of every unrighteousness. To cleanse us of every sin. Every known and unknown sin. Open your mouth and lay hold on his mercy. In the precious name of Jesus we pray. The Bible says where two or three are gathered in his name. He is there already in our midst. Lift your hand up. Say Holy Ghost. I am here again. Come and move in your own special way. Come and take your place this morning. Shout and say Holy Ghost. Move upon us this morning. As your word shall come forth. Move upon us. As the praise and worship shall go on. Move upon us. Open your mouth and turn into prayer. The Holy Ghost is here. He is here already. The third person of the Trinity he is here already. He is here already. Begin to pray. Let the Holy Ghost have his way. Have his way. Spread your weight around. Move like never before. Let the blind eyes be open. Let the unsaved be saved. Let the oppressed be delivered. Let those in captivity be set free this morning. Open your mouth. There is power in the house. There is power in the house. You've come to meet with God. You've come to meet with God. Expect a deliverance. Expect a healing. Expect a breakthrough. Expect signs and wonders. Open your mouth. Pray. Let the Holy Ghost move in this house this morning. Let him move, let him move, let him move. Let the pool be stirred. Open your mouth, open your mouth. I don't know about you, but I need a touch. I need a touch, a marital touch, a financial touch. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Let the Holy Ghost, let him touch you. Let him touch you, let him touch your body. Let him touch your spirit. Let him touch your soul. Open your mouth. As the praise will go on. As the dancing will go on. As the singing will go on. Let the Holy Ghost move upon us. Turn into prayer. Turn into prayer. The man of God is coming with a specific word. A word that will change your life. A word that will transform your life. A word of deliverance. A word of breakthrough. Open your mouth. Let the Holy Ghost use that word to take you to the next level. To take you to the next level. Open your mouth and talk to him. Holy Ghost, move like never before. In the precious name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the heavens was open. This morning, lift your hands up to him. Say, my father, my father. Shout it in faith. Say, my father, my father. Bust open the heavens over my life this morning. I need an encounter. I need an encounter financially, maritally, spiritually. Bust open the heavens. Let the heavens be open for good. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Let the heavens be open for signs and wonders, for marital breakthrough. Ayayabako shatayados for favor, for success. Let the heavens be open that those looking for jobs, they will have good jobs. Bust open the heavens. In the precious name of Jesus. The man of God said is going into our village this morning. Lift your hands up. Say, my father, my father. Today is my day of deliverance. Today is my day of deliverance. From my father's house, from my mother's house, I shall be delivered. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Fire prayer. Whatever has been holding us in our father's side, from our mother's side, I shall get my deliverance. I take my freedom. I take my liberation. Open your mouth. Come on, lift your hands up and give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Lord, I thank you for the testimonies, for the open heavens. Let your name alone be praised and let the devil be disgraced. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Hallelujah. Somebody wave your hand in adoration. Open up your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. We worship you. He alone is wonderful. He alone is glorious. Open up your mouth and worship him. We give you praise. We give you praise. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship Hallelujah. You got times and season in your hands.
We're gonna try again. One more time, Lord, you will wrestle, yeah. Lord, you will wrestle. Oh, if it's was it for, if it's was it for your
believe you are free shout hallelujah amen hallelujah praise the name of jesus please let's see that briefly you know we announced earlier on if god has done something wonderful tremendous in your life you should come and testify today we have a testifier in the house and if you're still in the audience and you have hallelujah. a wonderful testimony please do well hallelujah. to come to the left hand side of the altar quickly all right let's invite our sister as she shares with us our testimony put your hands together for that rejoice each time you see someone coming to testify learn to rejoice with them hallelujah praise the lord i want to thank god for his goodness upon my life i sent my testimony i sent my daughter to go and buy me something on our on our way going she collected an uh, umbrella from somebody after some time the person traced my house and he says that his phone that yeah, my the phone was in the house when my daughter came to collect the umbrella that the phone, his phone is missing that my daughter i should pay for the phone now we put i i told god that if he did it for me i will come to this place and testify what he has done for me and the people that he brought to bear witness against him to bear witness that when he bring the police they will be by his side the same people become his problem they fought with him to forget the issue that she did not see the time my daughter collected the phone and one of them even said that my daughter he knows he knows us she's the one she's not the one that collected the phone that he should forget and his landlord be against him too then at the end of the day he said i should pay thirty thousand or he will take the issue to police but at the end of the day the the problem the phone issue was cancelled because everybody was against him praise the lord and the lord has done it for me that is why i'm here to testify what the lord has done praise master jesus hallelujah put your hands together for that testimony any lie against you will not stand any testimony against you will not stand god will vindicate you in jesus name come quickly for your testimony very briefly praise the lord i want to testify about god, what god has done for me in this church when i enter this church i told god that i'm not going to fix any trouble that i don't know and god answered it the second one is that I told God that in as much as mama and papa are praying for me, one day they will discover me and connect me with what I'm looking for. I'm here to do the work which my father has sent me in Eagle Flight Microfinance Bank to do. And when anybody is against me, the Lord God Almighty will judge. This altar will judge. I thank God for mama and papa prayers. I said, I am thank God, whether anything is given to me or not, I'm content with the little that I have because the Bible says, godliness with contentment is a great gain. Some say, go and me that, I tell that you want money. I say, money is not my problem. The prayers they are offering unto me is quenching every fairy that of the enemy. And the enemy cannot, somebody took up my position in that house I'm living. But I left it to God. I said, God, judge, if I'm the one that is wrong, judge me. But I'm seeing the manifestation of mama and papa's uh, prayers in me. And I'm working strong. I'm now 76 years this year. I, I'm flying like that. There is no weapon form against me in any department of my life that shall, will prosper. I thank God for everything. Praise the name of Jesus. The grace of our father and mother will keep working for us. And the grace for longevity of life will keep working for us in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for the testimonies. We return all the glory to you. I ask of thee that everyone that's listening to these testimonies, that you will give us our own testimonies. At the end of the day, we will testify on this same altar to the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Please can we stand this morning? How many of us wants to give to the Lord this morning? Can you please stand, stand wherever you are? You want to honor the King of Kings with your seed. Can you stand? Now, the Bible in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7 says, the last part, the, Lord, the Bible says, God love a cheerful giver. 
how many of us wants to give to God cheerfully this morning? I did not say you should stand for me. I said stand to give to the King of Kings. Now, if you want to give to him cheerfully, you should not be sitting. Now, in the very next verse of that scripture, the Bible says that God is able to make all grace abound towards you. When you give cheerfully, it makes grace abound towards you that you will have money in all sufficiency. That's what the scripture said. So this morning, I'm so encouraging you, please, give cheerfully. Because when you give cheerfully, it is your continence that makes your substance count before God. God is not after what, it's your continence. If you are giving a ten error, but if you give it cheerfully, and that is what you have, God will produce gifts towards you so that you will be able to have more than enough. Please lift up your offering before him this morning as we give to him. Our Father, we thank you. In Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16, the last part, you said we should not appear before you empty lord we come oh god almighty with an offering in our hands this morning to offer unto you lord let this act of worship O king of glory provoke heaven to respond to us financially this week let no one that will give this morning father go empty this week but by cause and overflow that lord they will have more than enough Thank you for the grace to give. Thank you for accepting us. Thank you for accepting what we bring. Take it and use it for the expansion of your kingdom. For in Jesus' precious name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. And it be I know, and for not begin to praise, I want begin to praise, even before you answer. Now, now I know I join the overflow Baba God, you are faithful Now I know Now I know In everything you are able Now I know Faithful, you are able Now I know Baba God, you are good oh. Now I know Now I know In everything you are able Now I know Faithful farm without a seed you have come to the farm this morning please i wanted to sow into this farm this morning because there's going to be an harvest a seed fits time please pick up your seed and sow god bless you all are walk by you you are my
upon the solid road. Are you ready to clap for the most high God? Oh, yeah, now. Hey, I feel like clapping. I feel like clapping. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. I feel like clapping. In, year in, year out. for Jesus. Put those hands together for Jesus. Amen. It's time to knock at the throne of grace. Somebody say throne of grace. It's time to knock at the throne of favor. The throne of love, the throne of mercy, the throne of beauty, the throne of glory, the throne of honor. It's time to knock on this throne of our God. Amen. And to do this this morning is a son of our father, a son of our mother. It's already in the house. Can we put our hands together for Jesus for that? It's a man with a unique anointing, anointing concerning family, the bedrock of any nation in the world has to do with the family. This son of our father and mother has this anointing. It shows that to those of us that are here this morning, we are in for a real encounter with the Lord. Amen. And those of us that are watching on any platform worldwide, I just want to endeavor you to stay tuned to that platform this morning because you'll be richly blessed. As I bring this great man of God, this morning. Can we stand on our feet? Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Reverend Don Otuze Jr. Let's do it better. Put those hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. You are welcome, sir. Worship him. Lord, worship we worship him. you. You are Lord, God all by yourself. We worship you. You are God all by yourself. What a mighty God. Everybody is. say, mighty God, mighty God. I bless your name. I bless your name. You are the Holy One. Yes. Holy Lord, we worship you. I worship you. You are God all by yourself. We lift you, we lift you, we lift you, we lift you up. Oh, 
I need us to worship God one more time. This is one week you will smile like never before. This is one week that what you waited for will land in your hands. This is one week that the letter you have waited for will land on your table. This is one week that help will come from unusual places to you. This is one week that those who forgot about you will remember you for good. This is one week that the rising in your family will take place. Somebody will be positioned in your family. Somebody will be risen in your family. Someone will be exalted in your family. Somebody will be promoted in your family. Good news is coming this week. Bad news is canceled this week. Bad report is canceled this week. New week will bring you laughter and dancing. Somebody look under that amen very well. Now, I was speaking with Papa yesterday and he struck a chord that struck me well. Thanksgiving is not just about what he has done. It's an establishment that what we are waiting for has been done. And so when you begin to thank God, he cannot resist doing it again because he's already eating the thanksgiving. I didn't recognize that my daughter will always ask me for something and will say, Daddy, thank you. Thank you. I say, I have not even answered the request. You're saying thank you. He said, Daddy, just thank you. I know, I know what you will do. And once she does that, she has tied my legs. Listen, for who you are, we worship you. Wherever you are watching now, he is bigger than your problems. There is nothing he cannot do. It may be difficult, but it is possible. We serve a mighty God. One more time, I need you to forget about the gossips. Forget about the betrayers. Forget about the debt you're owing. Forget about the rent you need to pay. Forget about the shame that they have planned for you. Forget about the conspiracy. He is bigger than your problems. Can we just worship him one more time and tell him for who you are, for who you are, nothing can change you. The unchangeable changer. For who you, you are, are. Come on. worship him, worship him. I bless your name. Hey. For who you are. are, Lord, we worship you. You are God all by yourself. Rabado satali ala na na shetaka rabado. You are God all by yourself.
There is no like you, Jesus. <laughs> yes, you are God oh, by yourself. Now just roll that keyboard. Can you lift up your hands? The, the spirit of God is heavy. I see angels. I see angels. I see angels with new clothes. I see angels with new garments. One day, just one day, we'll make a difference. Just one day, just one day, will change every other day. Just one day can change your story. Just one day with the Lord can change your story. Amba yelele kutori gede, adese garika duande, uya kawa kwa kwe kwa kiyende giza, leka yongo kawa kwe kwa kiyende gede, hey kabone gede, dagade. This is the day you waited for. This is the day you waited for. This is the day you waited for. Wherever you are watching now, the power of God is just upon you. The glory of God is in that room. It's in that lounge. It's in that car. The glory of God is in that hospital room. That report is being canceled now. That report is turned around now. That medical report is turned around now. It's cancelled. It's cancelled. It's cancelled. There is a change. Baheleko to konde yeke. Iya sakadro singarabo se. Can you just lift up your hands? Sound of that keyboard. There are five angels with new clothes. Five angels, there's a change of garment. There's a change of garment. Before they brought Joseph out, they said, change your clothes. Change your clothes, you are getting to another level. Change your clothes, you are going to another place. You will not be known with what you are known for. There's a new introduction. There's a new introduction. There's a new introduction. Your change is here, your change is here. Your change is here. Your change is here. Your change is here. Can you just lift up your hand? I see five families. Five families. Somebody help. Somebody help. Power God. Do we have ushers here? Somebody help. Can you just lift up your hands? You will not wear the old garment that your grandfather wore. They say you must continue with it. You cannot continue with it. Your change, your change is here. Your change is here. What nobody received in that family, you are about to receive it. You are about to receive it. Your change, your change has come. Your change has come. There are two more angels standing with clothes. Lift up your hands. You will not wear that weight. You will not see success and not enter into it. You will not see promotion and not get it. You will not build and not enter into your house. Hey, Kabora Katede. Somebody help, somebody help, somebody help. Power of God. Help her, help her. Every voice from your past that is haunting your future. Every voice from your past that is haunting your marriage, haunting your destiny, haunting your glory. I silence them now. I silence them now. I silence them now. Somebody help. 
Ketu Badada, the Kusa Power of God, Le Karwando Yarada, Lasa Getorado, Power of God. Help that woman, help that woman. Katego to Yagan Asia, Sasanda Katote de Bosia. Never again, never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. Katoke te gadia. Rebata katohe. Lipata talando hoya. Power of God. Whatever they seized from entering your family in the past 20 years, the next two months will release it to you. Sing that song again. He is bigger than what you're passing through. Cut, take a quarter. I bless your name. Jesus. For who you are. La Cuba hey. Landa. Lord, we worship you. You yes, are God all by yourself. Yes, Lord. Hey. Yes, Lord. 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 You're God all by yourself. Everybody, say, for who you are. For who you are. name of Jesus now listen I need you to pray everything I have seen that is good that has started will not be stopped on the way my project will not stop on the way I have gone for interview and they said they will get back to me it cannot stop just there they must get back to me no process will be short-circuited. Whatever that has started, it's going to be perfected. I command it to be completed. Open your mouth and pray that prayer right now. My helper will not stop on the way. My helper will not stop on the way. He will take it to the end. He will not lose his job. He will be there till the end. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. My family will not be stranded. He will not stop on the way. He will not stop on the way. We must get there. Are you praying? Wherever you are watching this broadcast, Heaven is there with you right now. The glory of God is all over you now. I sense the power of God in that place. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus listen to this I don't know who you are you're watching this broadcast or you're hearing my voice the person who has been helping you is getting tired is threatening to withdraw but listen to me they have they are about to bless him or her in such a way that he will do more than he has ever done before you are going to hear from that person this week this week i recover that connection back to you i recover that connection back to you 
Somebody shout that amen like thunder. Number two, the Lord will have me tell somebody that somebody who needed to help you has forgotten. He wants to, but things have surrounded him that he has forgotten. Joseph told the butler, when you go there, remember me. And for two years, he forgot. Until God caused Pharaoh to have it. And the butler said, hey, I know my fault. I should have recommended somebody, but I forgot. Listen to me. This week, I didn't say next week, this week, because you had a contact with God in a day with the Lord, this week, that phone call will come. That visit will come. That alert will come. That interview will be arranged. That letter will be released to you. I am talking to somebody right now. Anybody designed to help you, help your family, that forgot you, I cause a remembrance right now. 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 Somebody shout that amen three times. Stand where you are. Lift your head up as if you're looking up. If you're in your car, just look up. If you're in your lounge, just look up. If you're in the office, just look up. Because I see an angel with a bottle of oil. Please roll that keyboard. When grace comes, your labor is not needed. There's a fresh oil. There's a fresh oil. That dream that brought fear, there's an oil that is about to address it. Ah, Katosa Bade. There are sixteen, sixteen of you. Father, I ask. He has anointed my head with oil. My cup is overflowing. Right now, the oil of healing, the oil of ministry, the oil of business, the oil of spiritual vitality, the oil is dropping, the oil is offering. Father, whoever, that this oil is designed for. Let it drop, let it drop, let it drop, let it drop. Fresh oil, fresh. somebody help. Power up behind, somebody help. Oh my God, somebody help that lady. Take it. Take it. Take it. Somebody help at the back, somebody help at the back. Somebody help at the back. Power of God. Whatever limitation that was placed on your family, that nobody can cross this line. Hey, 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 hey. Whatever canopy that was placed, that nobody can see this light. It's broken, it's broken. That limit is broken. The power of God is pushing you out of that circle. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Power of God. Whoever that declared, let me see how it will happen. We will see it happen. 
you will see it happen. It's happening now. 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 Power of God. Somebody help here. Somebody help here. Somebody help here. Power of God. Hey, hey, hey. Bring down your hands. Open your eyes. We are going to do something now. You are going to move in the spirit with your spiritual eyes. And let's go to your father's compound. Let's go to your family house. Position yourself at the entrance before the gate. Because every good thing that has refused to enter your family by reason of covenant, by reason of witchcraft, by reason of occultism, right now, that gate is about to open. Welcome to the shrine of the Almighty. Wherever you are watching, the presence of God is heavy. There is nothing God cannot do. Yeah. My God. My God. Stand at the gates of your house. Because I'm going to declare, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Lift up your heads, ye everlasting doors. That the King of glory might come in. And as I enter this circle, I want you to see the gate of your family opening. I want you to see God coming in. I want you to see glory coming in. I want you to see marriages begin to take place. I want you to see abandoned projects being completed. I want you to see people with no job receiving letters of employment. I want you to begin to see connections. I want you to begin to see visas that they refuse to give. You see it in your passport. See. If you can see it now, you will handle it. I'm going to tell you position yourself in front of your gates in your father's house. It takes a man to go to the shrine and tie a whole family. It takes a man to come to the altar and release a whole family. I don't need every member of your family. I need you. I need one. You will not forget today the day you had a meeting with the Lord. What has not entered your family in 20 years is about to enter in two months. La soka pato ke kriande he, zaze zaro sabada katosi, katu katale bekete ya. He told Elisha, if you can see me taking away, you get the hand mantle. Just if you can see when I'm going, the mantle will come. I am going to take off from this altar. That circle is the gate of your father's house. And as I enter there now, let the host of heaven begin to visit your family. I want you, don't see me, I am not important. I want you to see God. I want you to see the Lord of hosts. 
fighting your battles. I want you to see the victory. I want you to see the Goliaths falling. I want you to see the Jezebels dying at the gates. I want you to see those who said, let me see how it will happen. You will see them opening your mouth and asking, how did it happen? Hey! Heaven is open. See the Lord coming. Stand in the gap for your father. Stand in the gap for your mother. Stand in the gap for your husband. Stand in the gap for your wife. Hey, hey. God is about to visit your children because of you. Masha takatu zedeya. Rekabadende kutusia. The king is coming. The king is coming. Bateko shutabaha. Lebadadaba. He has broken the gates of brass. He has cut the bars of iron in sunder. Shakatabosh in the redes. Lebadakata. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Lift up your heads. Ye everlasting doors. Hey, are you set for it? He's here. Let the King of glory come in. Come in. Come in. He's here. 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 Somebody help. Somebody help. The power of God. The power of God. Somebody help. Somebody help. He's here. He's here. Power of God. Take it. He's here. He's here. Your gates cannot be locked anymore. He's here. He's here. Goodness is here. Healing is here. Breakthrough is here. Visa is here. Marriage is here. Your rent is here. Leka ba da 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 ba da de. Reka to ta ta da 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 da. Reko si da da da. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Take it. Take it. Seize it. If you can see it, seize it. Seize it. Amba ya da katosia. Le patakate. Yes, 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 yes. What they could not get, you will get it. 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 It's yours. It's yours. Yes. You, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I worship you. You are here. Yes. You change your destinies. I worship you. God. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Everybody say, Way back, way back, come on, come on. Hey, promise keep up. Lie in the darkness, my God, that is to you. Lift up your hands and call him the way maker. Yes, you are. Miracle worker. Promise 
keep Thy in the darkness My God, my God, my God Everybody say Waymaker, Waymaker say Miracle walker, promise keep Thy in the darkness My God, is who you are I hear the Lord say to me I will help you. Men have failed you. He said, I will help you. I will help you. I will help you. Open your hands as if you want to receive a gift. Oh, I'm, on, I'm not able to preach this morning. What a presence. No man enters his presence and goes back. This week, this week, this week, this week. By this time next week, somebody will be hearing your testimony. Open your hands as if you want to receive a gift. My God. My God. Can you see that thing entering your hands? Don't see anything else except that thing you have waited for. Entering your hands. He said, I will help you. And David said, I look up to the hills from whence cometh my help. Say, my help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. The king of Samaria said to the woman, Who am I to help you? If God does not help you, what do you expect me to do? Ah, Help is on the way. You have given your best. It didn't work. But hear the announcement today. The Lord is saying, I will help you. I need you to just be quiet wherever you are watching. Hey, I see the glory like a cloud in somebody's room right now. Hey, hey, it's on you. It's on you. The anointing is right there on you. Power of God. Somebody help. Somebody help. Somebody help. This is heavy. Mighty God. That thing they said cannot happen. Like they told my wife and said, forget about having children. That thing is going to happen. There's a spiritual surgery that is taking place now. Hey, Kabota Katuleke. Power of God. The Lord will have me tell someone watching. assignment that is waiting for you and there is no money anywhere to do it 
they want to take it away from you because it's like you don't have the capacity hey 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 yes 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 heaven is about to shock them hear the word of the Lord he says I will help you my God my God my God there is nothing he cannot do miracles still happen somebody help somebody help my God Oh Jesus. The twelfth day of October is a day you will not forget in a hurry. The day you met with the Lord. Jesus. 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 Yes. Yes. That contention has ended, has ended, has ended, has ended, has ended. That struggle, that struggle has ended, has ended, has ended. Somebody help at the back. Somebody help at the back. Power of God. Power of God. Help at the back. Isaiah 60 verse 11 That is where I'm going to end I am unable to preach Because the Lord himself decided to settle everything Therefore Thy gates Shall be opened continually they shall not be shot day or night so that men will bring in the forces of the Gentiles and get ready to host kings in your house Mbale Katosi here great things have just entered your family that family where there has never been traditional marriage in 20 years. Between now and December, there's going to be a ceremony there. That house that has been pending, abandoned for three, four, five years. In the next five months, there's going to be a housewarming ceremony. For now, there is nothing. But I see things all around you. I see your shop well stocked. I see your contract paper being released to you. I see your ministry flooded with testimonies of what God is doing through your hands. Hey, hey. Your gates will never be shut anymore. My God. He has spoken. And is able to do it. He's saying. I will help you. This is your week of congratulations. I'm going to give you five minutes to give him thanks for what you are seeing. <laughs> if you can see yourself in your wedding gown, marry.
carrying a man God has blessed, not a, not a conductor. If you can see yourself taking up project in church because of the blessings that God has released to you. <laughs> if you can see yourself packing into that new house. If you can see yourself not begging for a lift but giving people lifts. I need you to thank him for what you can see. I need you to dance. Yes. I need you to dance. Give him a dance that will make your enemies ask what is happening. Come on, come on, come on, flow. Come on, see what the Lord has done for me. Wherever you are. He has taken away my sorrow so I am free. I got me para, hallelujah, para. Because of Jesus, every day, now shock around, they do. Double, 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 heaven, the blessings of him, and he receive. Ah, yeah. God, you have wisdom, my sister. Say, come and see what the Lord has done for me. I'm going to tell them to put the account of the church on the screen. I need you to take an offering. This is strategic, not just the normal offering. I need you to drop to say, for what I see, Father, I give you thanks. For what I see, if you are sending that payment and remarks, don't write offering. Write in that remarks of your of your transaction for what I see. For what I see. For what I see. Wherever you are in the world. For what I see. Everyone that is here, I will need you to take an offering. If you have 1,000. If you have 500. If you have 200. If you have 5,000. Depending on what you see. And you are grateful for it. Thank God at the level of that what you see. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Don't come walking like somebody that they sent out of her husband's house. Come like somebody that is celebrated. That is, is coming in with a reception. Yes, sir. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? I need to sing the English one. Sing the local ones. These wastes must regal right now. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? I see dancing coming to your compound. I see you celebrating. Come on, come on, do it. Anywhere you are, go. Come on. Come on.
smile again can you lift up your hands in one minute in your own language say thank you to him in your own way in your own way in your own language say thank you to him wherever you if you like, you lie down. If you like, you sit down. If you like, you kneel down. If you like, you stand up. If you like, you raise your hand. However you want it, can you just thank him for what you see? closing but I need you to pray one more prayer and that prayer is Lord I will serve you better I will give you better I will honor you better than I have ever done Amen. I commit my life to serving you I promise to serve you better can you pray that prayer in one minute come on they that honor me, I will honor. Wherever you are, pray that prayer. Type it on your phone. Type it on your box. I will serve him better. In the name of Jesus. Before we sing that song, may I stand on this pulpit to say thank you to Papa and Mama. I repeat, I love the way you have me. Thank you for giving me the wings to fly. Thank you for making me a son that you love. I will be a son of consolation to you. Thank you for what you do and what you represent. We want to say thank you, Lord, for the gift of Papa Ayo and Mama Helen. You're a great blessing. And as we thank him, on this day with the Lord, I need you to always remember, he said, I will help you. Lift your hand and sing that song one more time. Come on. You've done so much for me. Hey. Oh, yes. I cannot tell you no. Everybody said.
have you ever been to IGC, headquarters of Word of Life Bible Church? Please do. Every service is different. Powerful and awesome. Wednesdays at 4.30 p.m. Bible study. Fridays at 4.30 p.m. Revival service. Sundays, two services. First service, 7 a.m. Second service, 9 a.m. Venue, IGC, the International Gospel Center at Jamimoga Road, Wari, Delta State, Nigeria. Praise and worship is heaven on earth. Come and have a taste of the Milk and Honey Choir and the Gospel Melody Voices. Chief Host, Papa Ayo and Mama Helen Orishijafo. 2020, I've got the power. Now, gloriously, Mama Helen has another book hot and oven baked in the stables about to be released from that oven in the month of October. Now, this book is titled, You Too Can Become a Success. Plan for success as this book drops into your hands. Look out for that book. Place order for it. Prepare towards it. Pray for it. It is God's tool to take you to that place of success you've always desired. God bless you. Pastor Chris Warren here once again, wishing you all the best and success in all of life's endeavors. Hello, I am Dee Dawkins Hagler, founder of the Organization of World Leaders. I am here in the United States and I am so proud to announce the release of Hi, my name is Jenea Kennedy and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I had the opportunity to eat with Mama Helen for lunch one day and it was probably the most awesome lunch experience I've ever had. Mama Helen is a wealth of knowledge. She is a wealth of success and just an all around phenomenal woman. Her new book on mentorship, I absolutely cannot wait to read and I suggest that you get a copy too. I just know that she's going to continue to drop nuggets on how to be successful after this pandemic. If you are ready to take your business to the next level, or if you're just starting right now, please pick up a copy of her book so that you too can understand how phenomenal she is. She is a dynamic woman, just full of knowledge, a wealth of success, and a wealth of little nuggets that will help carry you on to the next level. Get your copy today. And Mama Helen, I want to say, I am looking forward to your new book. You too can be successful. That is a much needed book in this time. God has allowed for everyone to basically stop, reflect, find out what their purpose is and to move in that purpose. And I know that your book will catapult so many people into their next dimension of success. I look forward to this book, your fourth book. Congratulations, Mama Helen. Congratulations, and thank you. Greetings. My name is Erica Antoinette Slayton, and I am an IT project manager and social justice advocate here in Atlanta, Georgia. I am excited to say hello to all of my friends and family in beautiful Nigeria, and to acknowledge Mama Helen for her amazing new book release. Mama Helen, as you all know, is a real jewel. She moves and inspires women as myself to greatness through her nuggets of wisdom that she so freely shares. I trust each of you will do yourselves a favor and go out and purchase my Helen's book so that you too can move from good to great. Cheers. My name is Mrs. Ibifuru Ken Giami, CEO of the Amazon Swatch Magazine published by the African Leadership UK Limited. And so on behalf of the management of the African Leadership UK Limited and its publications, the African Leadership Magazine and the Amazon Swatch Magazine, I wish to specially congratulate Mama Helen Orisa Jaffa, author of the best-selling book with sporadic and evolving challenges. So it is both a timely and more sweet for all a mindset shift to operate in the realm of possibilities and true success. Once again, congratulations Mama Helen Orisa Jaffo for all that you do as an inspirational leader 
and for being a true inspiration to women. God bless you. Finally, mom is about to release the fourth book and I'm super excited about this, this book. You too can be a success. What a timely book that's about to be released. I mean, this means that everything that mom has successfully acquired, she's about to release it in this book. So I'd like to congratulate you, mommy, Helen Orisha Jaffo, for, for finally releasing this book to be a blessing to all of us um this, this 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 new generation and i cannot wait to have my hands on this book and start teaching my my church members and my friends and my peers on how to become successful congratulations mommy i love you so much and i can't wait to see you in nigeria my name is dr sonny badu the lead pastor for the rock hill church here in atlanta georgia and the dean and professor of the school of music in trinity international universities of ambassadors atlanta georgia you. Love you. God bless you. Hi, I'm talking about the opportunity I had to meet with Mama Helen a while back here in Atlanta. Um, and the topics that we talked about were very inspiring for African American women in growing our financial capacity in terms of information technology opportunities real estate opportunities, even banking for black businesses. One of the things we also engaged in conversation about was relationships and marriage and the woman's place in marriage and how um, we should present ourselves. The conversations were very inspiring, very